finding the roots of the LGBTQIA plus community is a powerful act of finding and belonging and placing ourselves in a bigger narrative that we are so often erased from. Uh, contemporary queer people are often made to feel that they have that they are a new thing, right? That what we're doing is uh, a new cool hip thing. And so by finding our roots and uncovering and creating these narratives, we're really connecting ourselves back to history and in a way um, claiming our place in history and providing ourselves with rich examples and seeing that the social norm has not always been the social norm. And that can be really empowering um, for folks who are constantly trying to push against social norms, especially when we get the message of this is the way it's always been and what you're doing is going against that. Well, this isn't the way it's always been. I'll show you a bit of that. Uh, so this is the first one, finding urban is creating our narrative. Uh, this is also a project of dual uncovering. So I just give you a sh very brief uh, kind of history into women entering the print workforce. So this is really an uncovering of women's history as well as queer history and the combination of those two. <clears throat> and the last one, which is pretty obvious, um, is just knowledge and awareness as a historian. Being aware of my history is really important. Um, and so I think having that awareness can really change the way you navigate the world. <clears throat> also, oftentimes for our community, visibility equals life. And finding um, where we are visible in history can be a life-saving move for a lot of folks. <clears throat> Anybody know who is in this picture? No. That's okay, that's why I'm here. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's Lady Trowbridge. Um, she's a, a British uh, translator. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, she was a, a British uh, aristocrat and uh, she was a sculptor and a translator. She did a lot of stuff. Um, but she was also a lesbian. The main reason she's famous is because she is Radcliffe Hall's partner. How many of you know who Radcliffe Hall is? A few people. Right, so Radcliffe Hall wrote uh, The Well of Loneliness, which we're going to talk about here in a second. Uh, but that, uh, unfortunately, Lady Troutbridge is often forgot, forgotten about uh, outside of the fact that she was Radcliffe Hall's partner. Um, but you see her here sporting a very nice tux and a monocle, which um, the monocle has, has a meaning, and, and I'll get to that. Uh, but let's, let's start with The Well of Loneliness, which... A lot of people pinpoint this as really the origins of uh, lesbian culture coming to um, the, the, the forefront of popular culture. So The Well of Loneliness is uh, a book written by uh, Radcliffe Hall in um, 1928. Um, and it, I'm going to read you a synopsis of it, so pardon me while I read um, it follows the life of Stephen Gordon, an English woman from an upper-class family whose sexual inversion, which is what Radcliffe Paul refers to homosexuality as, is apparent from an early age. She, fa she falls in love with Mary Llewellyn, from whom she meets while serving as an ambulance driver in World War I, but their happiness together is marred by social isolation and rejection, which Paul depicts as typically suffered by inverts or homosexuals. Um, the novel portrays inversion as natural and a God-given state, and the final line of her book is, give us also the right to our existence, O oh God. Um, the Well of Loneliness faced several legal battles. Uh, the court system in Britain found it to be too illicit to be published or distributed. Um, and in, in the United States, there was a big political campaign um, and a uh, social, really, campaign to uh, have this book suppressed. So this is an article um, from the Sunday Express, from, written by a gentleman named James Douglas. And he says in this uh, article, I would rather give a healthy boy or a healthy girl a vial of acid than this novel. So it got this reaction.
reaction not because of any real um, overt sexual discussion. Uh, it has one line that hints at sexual activity, and it says, and that night they were not divided. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>